All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting over here on the review table. And uh, one of the things we're going to be looking at as part of the overall package of what we're putting together is this guy right here. These are the backup iron sights from the guys over there at Ultranine. This whole thing started years ago when these guys sent these to me for review. And i got to be quite honest with you, I'm kind of embarrassed, but it's taken me this long to do something on that because uh, this has been a concept that I've wanted to create. It's in this, and in, in, in part in that, excuse me, was the Ultradine backup iron sights as well as this guy right here and we'll do a review on this once we get done. The guys over there at X2 Dev Development Group sent this barrel out and uh, we got a couple other things going on but the platform is the barrel, the bolt carrier group, uh, this is the handguard, this is a Geisley, this is the Zenico uh, Purst 4 followed up by a Surefire 300. No that's not 300, this is a Scout Light. Anyway with a thorn tail. Really cool. Uh, if you guys are not familiar, this is probably one of the most powerful green lasers that you will ever come across. All right, so here we are, man. We got a front and rear backup iron sight. Now, first of all, let's talk about what makes these things pretty special over, say, your other backup iron sights, Magpul. Uh, God, I can't believe it. I got a bunch of them out there. Well, in any case, what I really like about these is attention to detail. Not one piece of plastic on these guys. I've watched uh, a bunch of other channels that have put these things out years ago just to kind of catch up on them. And I'll tell you what, these things are state of the art. Specifically as well, I shoot with 77 grain and a one and eight twist on that barrel. I'm hoping that we're gonna be seeing 600 yards without any issues. These are suited perfectly for the 77 grain because they have the ability to zero in at a 200 yard zero or a 50 yard zero. As you can see the numbers on here. So you get 200, 250, 300, 350, 4, 50, 4, I mean 5, 5, 50, and 6. Uh, indexing numbers, everything is indexed. You got nice little clicks in there. Uh, the ability to adjust, and uh, what I want to show you is I'm adjusting these. Let me see if I can get the lighting right. One, two, three. You see how that reticle raises up? And you might recall there's a very similar operation on what is that other optic or the other backup iron sights that I did a review on 100 years ago. All right, so in any case, uh, you have the ability to move right and left with the rear op reticle, which I, I would prefer to do. If need be, you can go like right and left on the front uh, <laughs> backup iron sight. So, what makes these things different? Well, first of all, yes, you do have the adjustment. One is you've got some really nice clicks, adjustable, uh, handsome set of optics. Uh, so let's talk about the rear peep sight. You can bring and move this out if you're shooting at night. You know you're going to be shooting at night. You can see that right there. Let me put that in there so you can see. And or you can screw this little bad boy right back in. They do have an aftermarket that you can purchase that goes even smaller, but I don't think you'll have you necessarily have to have that done. The front reticle, let's talk about this, or front reticle, the front optic, or gosh, the front iron sight. As you can see, okay, the front has a pass-through like this. Let's see if I can show you that. See how it goes through there like that? So what happens is when you have your rear and your front and they align, you're actually seeing through the front right here. And it gives you a clear line of sight to whatever you're trying to shoot at. So just like that. I brought, brought this full fiber optic piece out. So you can see. Isn't that cool? Ta -da. Let's go ahead and make that look 3D. Da, 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 da. Okay. All right. Anyway, what I'm trying to get at, you can see, hold on. Watch what I'm talking about. Look at that. So you've got the uh, kind of an HK hook right here, which lines up with this guy right here. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to line up your exterior and your interior. All right, one of the things I absolutely love about the front, and there's like several things that I like. One, you can adjust it left to right, okay? So you have an infinite levels of adjustment. I would say finite, but they're they're very detailed, okay? I keep, keep screwing up with my camera up there. Um, 
Here's another thing. If when you need to raise or lower the front, instead of using this guy right here, guys, if you recognize this, this is a front sight tool, you don't need that. All you have to do is compress the spring here, okay? There's a locking pin, if you can see on the right-hand side. When you raise this up, it allows you to free spin that front post, okay? There is a hole, and this is another thing, is that the detailed movements, you there's a hole on both sides. So there's a cross section in there. So if you want to come up, and what I'm saying is that you can really dial this thing in. Uh, this would be really useful to guys out there shooting irons on competition. Yes, yes, yes. This is what I'm talking about. These things are absolutely awesome. Let's take a minute. I'm going to show them on top of the handguard. Okay, stand by. All right, another little deal I want to tell you about is that there's a little post on the inside of the opposing part for the pick rail that will guide it back in here. So there's no way of getting it in wrong. All right, for kicks and giggles, I just went ahead and, and put it on the handguard. But you can see how this would work. I'm going to go ahead and mount this later on tomorrow. But... Uh, perfect front and back and let's see if I can show you what that would look like yeah just like that you have enough clearance above the laser go ahead and move along and put it just where you need to but like, yeah very handsome uh, retailing these guys well yes ladies and gentlemen these are not cheap they are gonna run you about 300 bucks but like I said um, for the individual who's looking for something that's solid and for precision shooting, this is what you're going to be looking for. I don't know if there's anything else I could cover. Uh, there was a couple of things that we were talking about. The pins might be coming out. You could lock tight those. I'm not sure. Uh, we'll see how they work. But what we'll do is I will take these out on the range. You're going to see it. And we're going to take some 77 grain and we're going to run them out 600 yards and put them on steel and see how they work. So that's it, guys. Also, a made in the U.S. of A. Very important because everything, well, other than, well, maybe the Russian light, but, you know, whatever. So KB32, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Support red and black and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom because freedom goes out to 600 yards without any problem, especially with these guys and highly accurate. It's KB32. I am out. Y'all be good. Boom.